the 1990s X-Men animated series, season 5, episodes 1 and 2, parts 1 and 2 of The Phalanx Covenant. So, spoilers for the show leading up to and including these two episodes, and other two episodes I absolutely love. And the top link in the description box will allow you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. Please do so. Extremely important cause. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why this is such an important cause. And, yeah, let's dive into part one. So, yeah, the we open on Sabretooth, you know, engaged in some, some violence with some cops and... They actually gave context to that clip in the pilot. You know, it, it took them five seasons, like literally to the episode, but they eventually got to a point where they could add some context to that clip. And, you know, they talk about, oh, you know, Wolverine's going to be really angry. What? I thought he liked context. He's had so much trouble recovering his own memory. I figure that this is going to be right up his alley. I quite appreciate the fact that Xavier is in the gym. You know, he has to... You know, the, because he doesn't use his legs the way that, you know, um, people who can use... You know, yeah. He, you know, he has to be careful that... Ah, crap, I forget what it's called, but there's some kind of, you know, ba like basically all our muscles should be used somewhat, you know, the, the, to, to keep them healthy, and uh, yeah, so, so I quite appreciate that, and yeah, Wolverine keeps, you know, he, he, he goes up to, to, to Sabretooth's cell, and the phalanx uses Sabretooth memories of Silver Fox because, you know, Sabretooth knows that that'll really set Wolverine off. And Wolverine can tell from the smell that this isn't, you know... Yeah, ultimately, I mean, it is, it is Sabretooth, but he's been infected with the phalanx. Right, real quick before I, I... I don't think I ended up writing it down anywhere. I really appreciate that one of the biggest allies in the fight against the, the Phalanx is actually Warlock, one of the people, you know, that is, like, some some of the biggest... You know, some some of the people who've done the most to stop evil are people who, you know, they're not quite... They're not quite part of the overall group that are doing the evil, but they're related to it in, in some way or another. And, yeah, very, very cool when Beast fights Phalanx. Let's see. And, you know, dodging. And, and, like, at one point the Phalanx uses the power lines to... to move ahead of Beast. Very, very clever. I really appreciate the, the tactics on display. And I think, yeah, I believe it's Wolverine being, like, completely subsumed by Phalanx. Beast, get help! Get us Canada! And, yeah, the, the you know, parts go together into the whole very very T1000 and yeah so the the you know supposed you supposedly the human scientists have come to debrief Hank I mean he's practically there already but yeah he points out how did you get here without vehicles you know a very clever little cuz the phalanx doesn't need vehicles you know it, like the the it, it doesn't need vehicles for the individual humans. They were all part of the same glob originally. They just separated from, you know, and, and none of them stopped to think, in case we we need a vehicle. You know, it was, yeah, very, very good. Let's see. Yeah, and 
the the I quite appreciate Warlock. You know, he's not one of those characters who acts like what? Why are you? No, he's like I, I get it. Okay, I get it. I kind of look like the bad guy, but here's what here's what's going on. You know, and yeah, the, there's the line. You know, assimil if the the phalanx will assimilate. Uh, yeah, assimilate what can destroy what it can't. So it's like the Borg. And yeah, at one at one point, you know, Beast. Let's see. I think that yeah, when when he's you know do, doing research, I also quite appreciate like Warlock is capable. Warlock seems smart, and he's capable of changing into human. But he still needs Beast to like point out, um, I don't think you're gonna be super welcome looking like that. And he's just, oh yeah. Well, so. Anyway, but yeah, you know, Beast is doing research and he's like, of course, the assimilation is directly proportional to the electrical conductivity. Yeah, duh. Some genius. And yeah, it was great when you know the Beast contacts President Kelly, and you know he and and Kelly is like, I'll send someone to pick up both of you, and you know the yeah, Beast shuts it off, and Warlock is like, why did he say both of us? You know he doesn't he doesn't know that there's two of us. You know this such a great because that's the kind of thing that you know because like. The phalanx is just thinking, I gotta get both of them. You know, it doesn't stop and think, wait, did he say, did he say there was more than one? Wh whatever, I just want to get both of them, you know. And, yeah, I was, another thing it really reminded me of was the invasion of the body snatchers, especially with, you know, the, the, actually, yeah, they actually do replace some people with identical, yeah, and yeah, you know, Beast contacts Forge and arranges a meeting. And Warlock is like putting his eyes on stalks. And Beast is like, please don't do that. <laughs> Which I quite appreciate. That was, yeah. <laughs> and I really like the detail that the, you know, the the phalanx is struggling to to assimilate mutants so when it attacks forge it grabs the metal leg because that's not mutant you know it's it's like connected to his mutant human body but it's not actually it doesn't have mutant dna in it you know and then the the you know for a little while beast like carries the, well, not quite carries but supports him you know and then, then Forge is like, Warlock, you go on ahead. You can move faster without. And Warlock makes, you know, tur turns himself into a leg for Forge. So that Forge can run as he normally does. Very, very clever. And, yeah, Sinister actually works with the good guys. That's, you know, this is what it takes. I also I, I didn't end up writing it down, but it, I thought it was pretty funny when Cyclops like attacks him, you know, thinking and and the, you know and Sinister's like, what are you doing? And it's like, I mean, like nine times out of ten, you're the bad guy. Let's you know, this is this is an extremely unusual situation. Let's let's be honest about that, dude. And that brings us to part two, the the conclusion of the Phalanx Covenant. Very clever of Beast to think of M M M Muir, the island, for for the, the, the Scottish, um, yeah, Moira McTaggart's island. And, let's see. Yeah, really love the, the thing with, you know, they're, the, the phalanx is struggling to deal with Wolverine in part because of his mutant identity, but also because the the healing factor. But inside his bone, you know, un yeah, underneath his bones are metal, which are excellent conductors. So what was it? We we can't wait to see what's under your skin, like yes. 
and let's see. my jet someone will pay for this I mean I feel like insurance should probably cover that I, I quite appreciate that every time a person is you know subsumed by the the phalanx covenant like in the short term at least there's like a little bubble for you know just to reassure the kids no no, no. <laughs> He's not actually like suffocating in there. There's look, there's a there's a bubble. He can breathe. It's okay. He just I don't remember there being bubbles in the but it's been a long time since I read Phalanx Covenant uh, comics, but yeah. And yeah, cool that Amelia is back and she proves herself very useful. I quite appreciate that like Magneto Like he's you know he's he's grown weary, and you know grew grew a beard, but like the rest of his uniform is still just like right there on the floor. Like he's you know it's like, well I sure hope that nothing interesting happens. Well you know he's he's just waiting for it. He's just, and and the you know epically puts on the uniform using his powers instead of like bending over and putting it on. It's, yeah. And he's rocking that beard too, as you know. Hodge has that right, and yeah. And Hodge says, you know, he's he's not human anymore, and he's happy about that. Which, so we're also in the territory of the many from System Shock Two. Like I feel like they pretty much fit in at least one reference to every major like. Yeah, I guess maybe except the only major is probably scrolls, and they did have a scroll reference in an earlier episode. But other than that, like every major pop culture, like you know, shape shifty or um, a sim. Let's see. Yeah, gr group that takes over individuals and replaces them, kind of thing. And let's see, quite like the the exchange about you know small price to pay for perfection. That's yeah. The X Factor is ours. Now, is he talking about the team or the fact that like DNA that the because, like, in the comics, the, the, the specific gene for mutation is the X gene. And I've, I'm pretty sure in the comics also, it's like X factor originally referred to, like, the, the I guess the activation of the X gene, or so, something like that, you know, so... Because, like, it seems like that's got to be what he's referring to. That's, the, you know, sometimes it gets a little confusing when more than one thing has the same name. Let's see. That is where we'll begin our assault. Amelia, can you restore my facial hair? Like, seriously, like, that, that bit, like, each time he turns his head, the, the facial hair disappears and reappears. It's, it's yeah, very... I found it... Very amusing, and it, it is legitimately sweet that ultimately Warlock does get to stay with his life mate, and it, it's quite a, a good, you know, the the fact that the the conclusion to his story is that he's go for now at least he's going home to to stop the Phalanx, uh, you know, the the this, you know, he is against the idea of the phalanx just absorbing everyone that it comes into contact with like this, and yeah, you know, it's, and, and it is on some, you know, it's not only his responsibility, but he does have some responsibility for it, seeing as how he, he knows it, he knows, he can, he can do a lot to fight it, you know, I, I don't think they say as much, but I feel like there's probably a chance of the 
you know, they're they're gonna rebuild, they're, uh, not rebuild. They're gonna build him a ship, and the yeah, they can probably make some more of the the antivirus as quite you know, Xavier. It's not enough that the day is saved. He has to fascinating that uh, you know a, a virus turned out to to cure so much. You know, just yeah. And uh, yeah, Sinister runs off, which. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably just worried that Cyclops is going to shoot at him again, which there's a pretty decent, like, outlook is bleak. And I do quite like, you know, Xavier tries to, to you know, Magneto is like, I do not see this as some great victory for, you know, th this doesn't mean that we're, we're united at all. You know, and Xavier says, you know, what about your son? Your son's okay. And, you know, they, they hug, which, yeah, very, very sweet. And, <laughs> you know, the show's so close to its end, there's no way. There's, like, there's a ton of stories where Pietro and Magneto are on the same side as a part of a unit. But, <laughs> yeah, they got... The, it it is nice, nevertheless. I'm I'm being facetious. I I do quite like seeing the two of them, you know, being ha having a chance at happiness as a part of the same family. And and it is the kind of thing of you know sometimes if something you know like both basically both of them thought I'm never gonna see him again about the other you know, uh, once Quicksilver was caught, like, it's clear that they can still think. So he was thinking to himself, you know, maybe if this hadn't happened, me and Magneto eventually could have come, you know, grown closer, you know. Uh, you know, I could have, I could have time with my biological father. And Magneto knew, you know, that was the... Um, yeah, that was that was said to him before. Actually, I think that was why he joined, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, Pietro is is one of them, and he's like, okay, never mind. I definitely gotta take part in this. Um, yeah, that is it for this two-parter. So, catch you again tomorrow, where we'll be going over both parts of Stormfront. So, till then, make mine marvel.